Hi, Mark here from AmericanNarration.com and in this short video I want to cover a very common question that we get about the cost to run a pond aerator or a pond fountain. Um, electrical charges are something you're going to find when you run these devices and it can vary quite a lot depending on whatever system or whatever device you're trying to run or wanting to run and how much your local electricity rates are. These are factors that you want to take into consideration, but there is an easy way to calculate this out. So I'll go through that with you today. All of the devices we're talking about, aerators and fountains, have from the manufacturer an amperage rating or an amp draw number that is associated with them on 115 volt and on 230 volt setups. Uh, one example that we'll use in this, in, in this video today the Easy Pro quarter horsepower rocking piston compressor, which is commonly used for their subsurface aeration system, has a 1.6 amp draw on 115 volts. You can basically expect that if you see a compressor or a fountain that's wired up or you have wiring for 230 volt, that amperage rating will be cut in half. But for the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to talk about 115 volt. 1 1.6 amps is pretty low, but to use this calculator online, and I'll provide a link below to this calculator. It's actually on rapidtables.com, but it will, it will give you a cost estimate per day um, on what it will cost to run this, this aerator or this fountain on a per day basis as well as a monthly basis, which I think is very useful. So it works in watts in this calculation so we need to convert the amp number from the device into watts. To do that one amp equals 120 watts. So for that EasyPro uh, compressor that we're talking about it has a 1.6 amp draw. So we're going to take <clears throat> 1.6 times 120 and that will give us 192 watts. So I'm going to insert that number here. I don't bother with the uh, selecting an appliance or anything like that. That's not needed in this case. We're going to talk about runtime next. Now most people that run fountains typically don't run them full time. They might run them 12 hours a day or 6 hours a day. Put in whatever you like here and whatever suits your general usage plans. For subsurface aerators like the one we're using in the example, these are best run 24-7. They're pretty economical and you get your best results by running diffused aeration full time if you can do it. So we're going to put in 24 in the hours of use per day. The kilowatt hour cost is going to be something that you will want to find out from your local utilities company. Um, <clears throat> in general, I see numbers ranging all over the place, but a lot of references work with say uh, nine kilo or yeah nine kilowatt hours or nine cents sorry, and, or ten cents or eleven cents something in that range seems to be common. You could be higher where you are. It just depends. But find out what that is. Put the number in. We're going to use uh, 10 cents as our base here, and then we'll run calculate. And what you'll see is for this particular pump on a 1.6 amp draw, we have 46 cents per day in electricity cost, around $14 per month in uh, monthly cost, and this is on a 24 7 operation, and then the cost per year. I think this is really handy and very useful. It's simple to do. You just want to convert amps to watts, figure out how much you're going to run the device, fountain or aerator, and then get your local utility rate on a, a kilowatt hour, which is going to be in some small number, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15 cents, whatever it may be. Put that in here and you can figure out exactly what your aerator or your fountain is going to cost to run. And so I hope this helps. If you have any questions 
about pond aeration in general or anything specific, if you have questions on the cost to run a certain uh, system, get in touch with us at AmericanAeration.com. We're happy to help, and I hope you have a great day wherever you are.